Man, you know what I learned today? Sometimes your advice is not meant for everybody. Damn so ain't. If you're talking to people about business, ideals, and all of a sudden there's, there's tension in the air, they don't need your advice. Because people who talk about business, they get excited when they hear numbers and the things that it's going to take to accomplish it. And if someone come to you and you give them some advice and you want to tell them the truth and they feel as though what you're telling them is false, just tell them to show you the numbers. The numbers not going to lie. You can make your mouth say anything, but numbers ain't going to never lie. And a lot of time in business, that's all it's based on, numbers. Can you show me the numbers? The numbers say that every business is going to take time to develop. The numbers say that most businesses, you know, don't succeed in the first five years. Facts. Not saying that y'all won't survive. It's just saying that most businesses don't survive the first five years. Why? Because a lot of people who are in business don't know a lot about numbers. They don't understand the number game. They think everything's supposed to just happen like that. And that ain't how it happened. It happened with planning, understanding finances, building your own finances up, having your own finances in order so you can understand what it takes. You're going to need a house or something first, maybe. Something that you done maintained and... and, 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 and or, or, or you done started the business from the ground up and you done built up your bank account to where it's over 100000 or 50000 You done took time out to go through those them, them pains. You know what I'm saying? The growing pains. But that's why you can't talk to everybody about business. Period. Can't do it. I don't care. And if you're a business man or woman, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You cannot talk to everybody about business. Because they're going to think that you are trying to tell them something different. But when I take advice from people who are in business and things like that, I, I take it. I don't not, don't say it's not possible. I just understand that they're telling me things that I need to know. So when I go out there, I don't jump out there and get my head knocked off. I understand that point. If someone tells me, yeah, man, it's just, it's, I'm going to take what they're saying. I'm going to think about it and figure out a way to prevent that from happening. Watch out who you talk to when you talk about business. Make sure it's someone who's very, very serious about what you're trying to tell them. And they're going to take it differently than someone who's thinking you're talking against them. For everything I know, for everything I love, people who are really serious about that business and they're they looking at you for advice as a business owner, and you know if, if you even take out the time to tell them something about business, you're going to tell them the right thing. That's that's the, that's the I mean, that's the proper thing to do you don't not going to try and lead somebody in a you know in a in a bad direction because that would be that that what that wouldn't be right so you're going to take out the time to give them the best advice that you can give them because you don't want to see them jump out there and get their head knocked off and then you, when you tell a person that information they think you're trying to tell them that they can't do it that's what i'm saying so be careful who you talk to about business. It ain't meant for everybody. Get money, stay true.